Hello. Hi, it's good to see everybody. Hey, Joga. Joga. Welcome home, Pam. Welcome home, my Um, It's 11 o'clock and you still tune into the rundown. My name is Kareem Dilla Pam, also known as Pam Lamtanga. And you're chilling with us till the hour of 1 o'clock. 12? 12. Pam Guys, is here to take somewhere around sure. there. Somewhere Pam around Pam there. I'm <laughs> not taking over. You can do your thing. Of course. We have the lovely upper to fill up. I'm out of shot. Okay, oh, sorry. <laughs> you have to put it further. Okay, okay, guys. Okay, so we direct Okay, angles. Okay, angles. Yep, yes. I'm saying you're out of shot. It's not about me. So I think further to the left. Further, further left. Yeah. Got. Tilt it back a little bit. Guys, so, in studio it's okay. so hectic. Go should try YouTube. Guys, guys everything is just happening. We got it. We got it. We in the shot. How are you doing? I'm chilling. Just tired. Guys, I'm good to be home. I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> you look so good. I wish I had that energy. <laughs> no, I'm gonna you, transfer. You, you'll, probably, you'll probably have it by the time you have to do whatever you have to do. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll start with Casper. I know that you just released Sweet and Short, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the album is took a whole new direction. We we hearing Quieto, hearing House, I'm a piano. How are the streets receiving that album? I know because we are love it. Very well. Uh, I think it was a smart decision. Capo mm -hmm. actually asked me last night, like, yo, so you playing this thing? I was like, yeah, like I saw I saw the my piano sound coming mm -hmm. and I thought I related to it so much, it has like a very like muff town vibe for mm -hmm. me. Quieto, so um, it was a deliberate decision and I'm not surprised by how people are receiving it. So no. Yeah. That's, that's, that's great. Pam! What's us, good? Tell us about What's happening? Guys, I'm back. back Haven't been on the mic in a while, okay? Yeah? <laughs> what are you here to do? Everybody's excited. Pam's back. But it's Guys. Not. I didn't know I was an it girl until, until the Twitter streets. Yeah. But anyway, I'm here with Netbank. Wherever Casper is with Netbank, I'm following okay. Kimu. Kimu. Right. Okay. So, right. so uh, what we're doing with Nibank, we're promoting the latest offering, which is a zero fees account, which is tailored for students under the age of uh, 26, right? Mm -hmm. So basically, under uh, the Nibank Unlock.me pillars, we have lifestyle, potential, and money. And today, we are catering to lifestyle. That's where Casper comes in. And under lifestyle, there are a lot of benefits with using the, the account itself. Okay. But under the lifestyle pillar, you get five benefits of which you can redeem to a month uh, depending on how frequent you use your account right so we have a hundred megabytes of data a taxify voucher a mug and bean voucher a steers debonairs or a nando's voucher and the fifth one is two for one new metro ticket um a movie popcorn for those days where you're trying to you know, impress somebody awesome. because okay. if popcorn is it too rude, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's basically why we're here. And today we will be at the crawl or we'll be um, having Casper uh, on the stage. We're gonna create a stage, nice ambience, you know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna uh, basically, I'll be the MC. That's why I'm back here and doing what I do best, eh? Yeah, speaking, of, speaking about that. You said on your YouTube channel, Pam, that there's a difference between emceeing and presenting. And guys, you are more of a... Guys, I am such a bad presenter. Let me tell you this, guys. Guys, <laughs> I literally shake and cry, you know? But when it comes to, to, to emceeing, you basically... Um, feeding off of people's yeah, energy please. you are giving them it they literally waiting for you to give them you know with presenting it's like I'm waiting for you to screw up I'm waiting for you you know you have to stick to a script you know all of that so I just feel like it's better to be an MC than a presenter uh, obviously they go hand in hand you mean so I kind of not better it's easier okay thank you in goes thanks <laughs> thanks Thanks. Okay. So yeah, it's easier to be an MC for me than it is to be a presenter, so that's why. Do you, um, Casper, feel like there's a, a part that's like easier between being a businessman and being a musician uh -huh. and an entertainer overall? Yeah. Which one do you feel that you find easier? <laughs> you know, I, I think I get in trouble for answering honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's easier yeah, the business is easier for me, and that's the part that a lot of people get um, get wrong. Okay. You know, for me, like 
like the packaging and selling of music or or like the, the endorsement deals, all that stuff for me is very easy. The marketing mm -hmm. side of things is easy. The music is difficult because you literally deal with people's opinions. You know? Yeah, it's like you could make an amazing album and people don't like it. Yes. And then some people think it's trash because mm -hmm. people don't like it. And, it, and that's not necessarily true, you know. Mm -hmm. And the entertaining side also just comes very really natural for me. Yeah. So, yeah, making music is difficult, man. For, for for someone to be in the game for like four or five albums, it's not a, it's not an easy thing to do. Mm -hmm. If you look at the artists who came before me yes. and the guys who are doing it right now, who are like four or five albums mm -hmm. deep, we're still hot. Mm -hmm. Everyone who came before us was like one, two albums deep, and then it was over. Mm -hmm. You know, you remember like. Let me not mention names. I'll leave no. it. <laughs> I like how you mentioned how with with the music, the fans sort of like are the ones dictate, that yeah. would dictate what you, what goes on. And you said this in, in your song "Remote Control." Yeah. And how celebrities are basically, you know, just being controlled by the fans. Do you as a celebrity feel like your fans have the remote control to your I life? feel like they think so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, you know, two days ago, something really, really unfortunate happened. Uh, with babes, I don't know if it was fortunate or unfortunate because uh, yeah. it's fortunate that and people, they people came got out, to yeah. see. Uh, but it was unfortunate what was happening to her before mm -hmm. that. So when it happened, so I'm in the club, right, and I'm seeing this video, and I'm cheating, thinking, man, I was so disgusted by like just the thought of men beating women, women like in general, not just that video. That video made me think of everything. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't tweeting about my binge, I was just talking about men. Many general people are going at me like, say his name. And yeah, I like, saw that, that was yeah, bad, eh? that was And then I thought about like, actually, what if I don't want to say his name, you know? So people think like they can yeah. tell us what to do. And I'm going through, you know, different tweets and there's like a guy from KwaZulu Natal who's just tweeting about men being trashed. There's a guy from Cape Town. But because he's not Casper, yeah. nobody's going at him for not saying the name, you know? I mean, I shared my opinion and I think that it's not only about one person. Like I think that people like jumping on Twitter trends because there's a certain video that they're talking about babes. Mm -hmm. Everyone's gonna talk about Mambincha, but when the media stops stops re reporting about Mambincha, then nobody talks about the violence Kennedy's anymore. Violence. And, and, yes. and, and and for me, like that's what I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Like and going back to your questions, like the people feel like celebrities should speak up at a certain point mm -hmm. and then when we do we'll also judge how, how we speak up and what yeah. we choose to say and all of that stuff so i feel like fans do feel like they control us but i think it's a south african thing you know we we uh, our support structure is very emotional emotion it has a lot of emotional blackmail like people mm -hmm. have the whole thing of we support you, we put you here, we bought your albums. And it's always the guys yeah. who didn't even buy your albums. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I think so. Yeah, um, so Pam mentioned that you're part of the lifestyle um, element, yeah. element of the Ned Bank marketing with Daisy Your Monthly Feeds. Do you want to maybe like divulge a bit more about that? Uh, I don't know <laughs> what they mean by I'm part of the lifestyle. I think, you know, in terms of just money in general and banking, I, I've got a lot of experience of like good and bad things, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, I think maybe that's why they they picked me, you know, to speak about my story, mm -hmm. talk about how I used money, how I wasted money, how I saved money, yeah. and um, that's what I, I've seen throughout this campaign, you know. Mm -hmm. So when you say lifestyle, I'm thinking, man, my lifestyle is a bit wild. <laughs> yeah. banking, you know what I'm saying? For banking. Uh, <laughs> Campaign, you know, because I'm gonna be out here telling kids to buy APs and it's wild. So it's just like, you know, it's just I've got inf like info and, and experience with money. With money when it comes to money, okay. Yeah. So, Pam, I want to ask you um, as an alumni of the station, how has the journey been outside of Medivis Radio? Outside of my Divas radio, uh, I haven't done much. I've been lazing around, you know what I'm saying? Nothing hey, much. I'm on TV. Guys are missing out this video. He just did this whole vlog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, um, 
I am currently working for Steel and Village as an activations mm -hmm. um, specialist and I also do some influencer work which is a very interesting field for me. I'm trying to research a bit more and as you can see like I run a lot of social media campaigns on mm -hmm. Sundays because I'm really interested in that field and then on the other hand I'm obviously emceeing Guys, that passion just came out of nowhere, guys. I was one day here in, in, at the station. We were told to go down there, do an activation. Then right. that's how it started, guys. So don't take it for granted. So, yeah, from from the radio station, what I've been doing, I did Knit Bank Unlocked Me last year with Shekana. This year, we're obviously doing it with Casper. And I think the experience just keeps getting better Peter. and better. You know, I haven't done much. And I just feel like this is just the beginning. Like, I haven't done. Yeah. Yeah. The experience is better because it's with me. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> guys, guys, I, I must say, I haven't worked with like a super, super star. Yeah. Uh, like, a Chicano's obviously uh, big. And then when you start working with Cass, we realize, yay, yay, yay. This is guy is a superstar. Right. So, you know, and, and, and it just keeps, keeps getting, getting better and better. And I just feel like, I don't know, after Casper, you, you can Ooh. bring on what to the campaign, you know? I really don't I know. I to go get drink. I know! Let's say, let's go into a song. Here is Remote Control by Casper himself. <laughs> hey. So we are back 11.46 on the clock and you're still tuned in to the rundown here. I'm going to do the best youth station in the bay. We still have a putty fill up and crammed in a pan in the house. Do you still go by the name, by the way? Yeah, definitely. Oh, I earned it, so... Yes, Yay! He did. <laughs> yeah, he did, he did earn it. So they say now I need to fill up someone's daughter. Oh, so hey! That's the next Guys, part. we need that Tebow Touch horn for that. We fill up someone's <laughs> daughter! <laughs> Are you going to fill up someone's daughter? Yeah, definitely. So. Yay! Yo. Guys, Aye. it's deep. Aye, it's deep. It's deep. I want to make uh, clothes for kids, so. Oh. No. Yeah, it will make sense nice if you have a kid. To have some yeah. But first, you must have a kid. Yeah, so of your you own. Can. Yeah. Yeah. But, sure. Pam, last question. Darling. Since you are this big it girl in the PE and just, Yay. you know, um, what tips and tricks can you give to banning influencers who want to make their social media pop and get paid for it? Oh wow, you had to take it there. Nope. I get paid to give out this info, okay? Thanks. Oh, oh, stop. So I'm just Invoice. kidding. Invoice. Invoice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I should actually um, post a YouTube video about it because last week I posted about um, MCing and how you get into it. Uh, so I should probably post about that. But as an influencer, always um, I'll give you, let's say five, I don't know, uh, clean up your Instagram, make it look cute, um, have beautiful images, and then obviously, you, yes, it, the quality, the quality. If the light ain't right. Exactly, it no ain't post. it. It ain't it. And then uh, hashtags, obviously. So whatever you're interested in, always hashtag. So if it's street fashion, if it's beauty, if it's, um, I don't know, whatever you're interested in fashion, hashtag that. People sometimes follow hashtags. And of course, um, another thing is location. Tag your location. So whoever's visiting Gauteng or whoever's visiting Summer Strand, they want to see the people from Summer Strand. Okay. You know, they're going to click on that. And obviously, tag the brands you want to be uh, associated with you know so if you want jet to you tag jet till the end of time till they recognize you you know was that you in that jet ad so as i was saying at 11 49 that <laughs> <laughs> yes it was me so i do do ads on the side because yeah gotta make the money so yeah it is a couple of things um that you need to do to keep your influencer um profile running and of course over time you will uh, get uh, paid uh, and approach brands you do approach brands like mm -hmm. dude I love your brand so mm -hmm. let, let's do this let's, let's do this and obviously um, don't overcharge don't undercharge just do it just right. Do it right yes speaking of um, securing the bag and charging um, Abu D. Casper, anything we know that you just secured a major bag major hey. bag yay. Hey. Yay. you know the thing about this <laughs> Can you reveal anything about the kind of work you will be doing with, with Samsung? Uh, you know, I mean, firstly, there will be like the uh, the expected, like, you know, corporate stuff where mm -hmm. I'll be talking about the product. And then uh, the more exciting stuff is that they basically just 
gave me a, a free road to just do a, all like a, a blank page to paint. Mm -hmm. So they said you'll come up with um, entities and ideas of how we could make the brand cool, you know, mm -hmm. using mm -hmm. uh, your creativity. So we're building a lot of properties, me and my, my partner TV. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a we've got a lot of dope stuff coming. We might have a festival that we're gonna do with them. Uh, Guys, you uh, heard it here first. Yeah, we've you got, know what I'm saying. Got, I, I wanna end up saying too much. Okay. But it's gonna You're be. It's, gonna, it's not gonna be like that boring. Mm -hmm. You know, I always have to. You know, look like a billboard. You know, it's yeah, just, yeah. You know, it, it has to. It has to suit my brand. It has to be hip hop. Okay. Now, I can't wait to be the MC for that. He probably didn't tell you guys okay. that I'll be in there. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much, guys, for coming into the Lion Studio. Thank you very much for visiting <laughs> Madiba's Radio. That is it from um, Casper and Pam. Pam is lit. Yeah. Very very lit. What time are you guys going to be performing? What are you guys doing today? She's the MC. You know what I'm saying? And I'm performing a little bit. Hope she'll. Hope you she'll didn't tell you that you pick up dancer, but it's okay. For further things. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>